I'm going to demonstrate ATS and range selection in Caption Maker for Windows. Um, first thing I'm going to do is import my transcript. So I just drag and drop it. It's an ASCII text file. And I usually set the maximum number of characters per each line to 32. That's uh, the industry standard for captioning. And once I import it, the text is all imported, uh, nicely broken up the way I want. And now I'm going to import my video. So I'm going to drag and drop that video into the text area, I mean the video area, and select Enable Video Playback from Disk and temporarily set TC Reader to Video Playback. Hit OK. And now my video is loaded. Um, normally, if I run ATS um, into this video, um, it's going to do a pretty good job. But let's say that this video had an, an intro with music on it. So what I would normally do is I would manually stamp just the music area. Okay, so let's say I press play. So let's say that that whole area was had music or noise. So what I can do is now I can select that anchor point, which is the last caption that has accurate time code, and I can cl shift click the range I want to s auto time. So let's say I want to auto time from that portion all the way to toward the end. So I shift click, and now I have that portion selected. As long as the first time code is accurate, I can now apply auto timestamp and the range selection will just auto timestamp the range I have selected. And that's um, uh, a according to the first anchor point. The anchor point meaning the first time code has to be accurate for that specific range. Now the average confidence percentage should go up if I selected a specific range where there's no music. So notice that range has been auto timestamp. And I can continue and do so for each individual range. So it's good to have anchor points by having specific accurate time codes for that specific area that doesn't have noise and only has clean dialogue and then just apply ATS during those portions of the video.